All right, you guys asked for it and you're gonna get it. So today we're gonna look at this build and answer to this question. Is there a better teleconferencing tool than TeamViewer? I think this build can answer that question, so let's carry on this video. Okay, before we carry on with today's video, if you are new to this channel and you'd like to see door stretching budget and pro PC build ideas, make sure to smash the subscribe button to not miss out on such PC build ideas. Okay, so back to this video, this PC, as Gordon mentioned, it will go out to an engineering firm that specializes in deep learning. So this build sports uh, AMD Epic 7302. The motherboard, of course, is the Astro Rack Room D8-2T motherboard. Uh, I'm not going to go through so much on this motherboard because uh, we have already done it in part 1. So if you have not done so, you can click on the link above. Sports 120 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of 4 sticks of ECC RAM, Corsair MP600 1TB PCIe NVMe SSD, Power Supply the AX6000i. You can also see the two RTX 2080 Ti by Gigabyte. And this is the in-win for you case. I'm going to pass on to Gordon to take you through today's crux of the video, which is the IPMI software that is so special in this Astro Rack. So Gordon, you can take over. Right, thanks, Mel. As you may be noticing by now, I'm not at the Astro Rack for you set itself. I'm actually at my Hachi demo set right over here. And I have this uh, screen right open, which is basically the Astro Rack IPMI web interface itself. As you may have noticed right now, the set is currently turned off. So what I'm gonna do is that from this computer over here, I'm gonna power the set on. Are you free? So as you can see, the one thing you notice, the fans are starting to spin up. So while he is spinning up, so what I'm gonna do while he is booting up all the various components, I'm gonna come over here to remote control. I'm gonna launch the KVM. So what this would allow me to do is to control this set at the baseband level itself. So right now I have no signal because the set is still currently booting up. Now I've come to the boot manual. Right, so right now I'm in the BIOS screen itself. Okay, so this is one way where the IPMI is way superior to some of the more familiar solutions that you may know of, TeamViewer being one good example. The difference between IPMI and let's say something like TeamViewer is that TeamViewer will only work at the OS level, which means that you have to have a couple of conditions. Number one, the set must already be turned on and number two, the OS must already be loaded. So therefore, for obvious reasons, you cannot do things like configure the BIOS via TeamViewer. For this IPMI, the remote management interface I can do this. So from this other set itself, I can adjust the set without actually having to go over and physically handle the actual for you rack itself. So you can see here, I can adjust the BIOS. So just to take you through, like Mel mentioned earlier, we have uh, Epic 7302 16 core CPU right over here. 128 gigs of uh, RAM of 4 sticks of uh, 32, DDR4 ECC. And there's a single Force MP600 1TB SSD in the second M.2 slot. As well as, so you can see more details, it's uh, of the SSD itself. So alright, so we come over to the hardware monitor, let it load up the sensor, so you are actually able to see all the different voltages and all that. But you are also able to see that in the IPMI web interface, which I'll get to in, in a bit. So this is the BMC, BMC configuration itself, so you can see some of the system event logs are here, BMC tools. And let's see, let's not do anything at the moment and let's get out of here. So let me log into my OS, which is Ubuntu 18.04.5. So I shall load up Ubuntu. So right, as you can see, I have loaded up Ubuntu. So you can see I am able to move and manipulate around the mouse like TeamViewer. So you can see right over here. So let me take you through as to what's inside here. So, so first I'll showcase to you the two GPUs that's sitting inside there. So right, as you can see right over here, we have two 2080 Ti's, driver version 440.95.01. CUDA 10.2 is also installed as well. And to show you the CPU, pop over here. So right, so that shows you in a nutshell what's going on inside here. Yeah, so you have the Ubuntu 18.04.5, 120GB of RAM, 7302 as well as the two RTX 2080 Ti. So I'll just minimize this. So right, so now this is the point where I take you through on the rest of the IPMI web interface itself. So remember just now in the BIOS, you could see the various voltage readouts and all that. So you can also read it out in another place here, which is called the dashboard. 
So you can see right over here, yeah, there's see things like the BIOS firmware version, the BMC firmware version, MAC address, IP address, well as all the readouts. So the good thing about this is that let's say you have this rack in a data center for example. Now obviously if you want to check on this on a normal conventional set, you actually have to go over to the set physically and check it out yourself. Using the IPMI interface, you can from the comfort of your home, you can connect to it usually by VPN go into it, log in and you'll be able to see all these vital statistics. So you can see like all the sensor readouts, uh, system information, you are able to see remotely what's going on inside there. Now my CPU, my 4 sticks of RAM, uh, so you can see my 2 GPUs and my storage device. There's also event logs here as well. So right, so these are some of the various settings that you can have. So you can have like the user account see who has access to the to the IPMI. Ah yes, and this is one very interesting feature that we have down here. So you can like let's say for example, you are wondering why the server crashed, why the server restarted. So you are able to set it such that this set will record a video of that event that caused the set to crash. So that later on you can play back the video and you are able to find out what actually caused the crash itself. Some of the other things like uh, yeah, the usual, the typical network IP settings, that kind of thing. And just now, yeah, the remote viewing, that one is the KVM itself. So this is comes under the remote control. So what I used just now was the web one. There's also a Java one. Ah, image redirection. What this does is like you could emulate a DVD drive, for example. So if you, let's say, you want to install a brand new OS into this system, you don't have to physically go over to the set itself to pop in an image. You can just redirect it to, let's say, another server to grab the image off to and do your installation of your OS or your drivers. Under maintenance, this is so you can update the firmware, the BIOS, all that remotely. Again, you don't have to be anywhere near the set itself to do all of this. So it looks like a lot of features, but the key gist of this is, is that you are able to do all of this while not being anywhere physically near the set itself. This server could be like 50 miles away from you and you're still able to run it like as though it's physically in front of you. So you can imagine how what a boon this is for IT administrators all around. That's the end of the tour of the IPMI web interface for the ASRock Red ROM D82T. So I hope you learned quite a fair bit from this little lecture of mine and I hope I didn't bore you to death. So if you have any other questions as to how this works, you can just drop a question in the comment section before. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. All right, thank you Gordon for this detailed walkthrough of this IPMI software of this Astro Rack. So as Gordon has mentioned, if you guys have any questions, you can write down in the comment sections and we'll try our best to answer you. So if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And yeah, I will suggest this video. If you have not watched the AMD Epic 7302, you can catch it in our dual Epic system build. So you can watch that video. Yeah, make sure to check back to our channel. And yeah, because we're going to pull up more and more of such amazing PC build ideas and PC build comparisons. So from Gordon and I, we say goodbye.